hey you guys welcome back to my channel i really appreciate the support and i'm so happy you all want to cook yes cooking is so much fun it's a passion of mine and i'm just so happy to bring this to you guys and share it so let's get started with today's dish i'm going to make a seafood paella i think i said it right <laughs> it's a spanish dish and it does not sound like it's spelled it's kind of weird but anyway we're going to use all of these beautiful vegetables you see here in the picture i will list them all down below along with these spices and the type of seafood that we're going to use um i can just name a few for you we're going to use some colorful peppers serrano peppers some scallions um baby corn that i usually never find but it's in the canned aisle um, it comes in a little jar, jar, not drawer. Ugh, it's the foreign in me. Um, yeah, and some saffron, if you could find it in a store. It is an expensive spice, but if you can't find it, it's all good. You can use smoked paprika, lots of smoked paprika. Um, better than boilon, that is the go-to for my chicken broth. I'm obsessed um it's so good and this here i'm using a chicken sausage italian style i don't do pork but you guys can do pork sausage if you want and some frozen peas and corn and i found some shrimp and uh flounder at the store which was surprising because i can't find anything nowadays quarantine and lifestyle but yeah i found some frozen flounder and frozen shrimp which i thawed out and cleaned um, and some mussels, which I'm, I never actually use mussels in my cooking. So this is going to be a first time for me. Um, but I think it's going to be amazing and I cannot wait to make a mess in this kitchen with you all. So let's go. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is dice all of the vegetables and put them aside. Come on, chop it up. Okay, so once you've done all of the chopping chopping, you are going to be in colorful heaven. Yes, you guys, this is what it should look like. Isn't it so beautiful? Oh. So you're gonna put that aside. After you've chopped your parsley, you're gonna put in a separate plate. Um, and we're gonna make a parsley mixture out of this. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right about now. So one thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add half a almost half, leave some for garnish, okay? Into a bowl, and then you're gonna squeeze some lemon. Should I say, squeeze a whole lemon, okay? And pour it on top of this. The strainer is good because it just gets the seeds out for you, okay? Bam, bam. After you added the uh, lemon, you're gonna add some olive oil, okay? This is gonna go into the rice but considering that it cooks quickly you're gonna have to put them aside all right and you're gonna add some garlic to this you're gonna add it to your at least half of it to your parsley mixture here okay leave a little bit hanging around it's all good and see where this goes. All right, guys, so we're gonna cook all the meats first, all right? Remember that um, chicken sausage? So you dice it up like this, and I'm gonna cook that for I me that. some butter. Um, when I'm cooking, damn, I almost burned myself. But anyway, I love me some butter, so I'm gonna drop, I don't know, a nice gigantic piece tablespoon of butter so i'm gonna throw the sausage in here first cook it for two minutes so after you've sauteed your sausage take it out and throw in the shrimp and saute that for about two to three minutes so i'm not going to pre-cook the fish i cut it up into chunks i seasoned it with olive oil salt pepper uh garlic powder and i'm going to just set it aside and throw it into the rice later it's going to cook pretty fast they're thinly sliced um, so let's go. 
Okay guys, so after you've cooked all of your meat and everything, you still have some sauce in here. This is good flavorful stuff here, so don't get rid of it. Add some more butter. Oh, what the hell, we'll just use that big piece. And just let it melt. Just add all of the veggies, don't be stirred. Add all the veggies, the peppers, the onions, the onions. Because you know, scallions are also onions. The mushrooms, the corn. I'm telling you, don't be stirred. Bam, bam. Make sure you have someone on deck washing dishes. And then just saute it. Okay, so you're gonna saute this colorful goodness for I wanna say 15 minutes. You want it to cook down a little bit before you add right, the guys, sauce. So after you cooked your veggies for about 15 minutes, Throw in your tomatoes. No need to drain them. Just dump them in there, baby. Dump every, don't try to keep every piece out of that can. Stir it up a little bit. All right, so after about a minute or so with the sauce, start adding your spices. This is your paprika, smoked paprika, you guys, not regular paprika, smoked. It's very important. It'll give you a punch of flavor. And then you have your garlic, your turmeric. Mm, I love me some flavor. Salt, pepper, and some red crushed pepper flakes. And then give all that a toss and then add two cups of rice remember short grain rice and then mix everything together everything in. oh my god this is gonna be so good it's okay if you drop some no big deal mm -mm -mm. okay it's not okay if you drop that much though okay so after you have stirred in your rice, we are bringing that chicken broth. Mm, look at that color. It's just everything. So I had my broth actually simmering the entire time I was cooking because I've used that better than boilon broth. But if you just bought chicken stock from the store, you can just, just add it on. It's not really a big deal. I also added a pinch of saffron into the broth while it was simmering. So, um... Yeah, then after we mix all that baby in, we're gonna take our parsley mixture that we made earlier with the garlic, the olive oil, lemon juice. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Get every piece of parsley. Yes, don't leave any behind. And please stir that in there real good. Mm. My mouth is watering. I don't know about you guys. But can you just imagine the burst of flavor that's in this pot right now? Mm -mm -mm. So good. So you're going to stir that up really good. Yes. Yes, broth. I just want to dive into it right now. Like, I just, I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to dive into that. Now we're going to bring our chicken sausage or whatever sausage you guys have add that in there mm, that looks all nice and juicy it's been sitting there waiting on us you want to mix that in real good mix it in let's go mix it in oh gosh ah <sighs> so yeah all right, guys, so now you're going to add your frozen peas. Yep, 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 straight out the bag. No shame in my game. And then I'm going to add some frozen corn. Not too much corn because we have the baby corn in there that we cut up and sauteed. 
And now we're going to fold all of that in, mix it up nicely. Okay, so after you've stirred in your frozen veggies, you're going to go ahead and add that uncooked fish. Yep, real nice, right on top. And we're going to try to fork it in and mix it up. Give it a light toss and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Then, after 20 minutes, people, this is what's going to happen. You're going to add your shrimp. You're going to stir that in there gently with a fork. Because, again, you don't want to mush up the rice. Okay, mm. y'all. So, here's your last step. You're going to put your mussels. I'll tell you about these mussels. If they're not completely closed, you need to discard them. They have to be alive. Otherwise... It's disgusting. So, okay, once you've arranged all your mussels on there, cover tightly, let the steam cook it. Once those mussels are open, it's done. Let it sit for, I want to say, a good 10 minutes to cool down. Okay, friends, so after you have let it cool down for 10 minutes and your stove looks like someone threw up on it, it's pretty much done. So you're gonna take the little bit of parsley you had left you're gonna drizzle it around like this. And it's okay if your stove keeps getting dirty because you're gonna clean it. There we go. Aren't these cute? You take a half a lime, I'm sorry, lemon, and just squeeze it all over there. Bam, bam. And I would also serve some wedges of lime with everyone's plate. And there you have it, folks. So, babe, hmm. <laughs> what do you think of my paella? I've never had it before, but it is absolutely delicious. Really? I mean, my God. You're so picky, too. It tastes like something from... Spain? Madrid. <laughs> okay. Good. Barcelona. That's good. That's really good. best. For real, babe? Amazing. Shut up. No, baby. <clears throat> you're the best cook. Say it again. Say it again for the people in the back. I said, no, baby. You're the best cook. Okay, there you have it. I have won his heart through his stomach. I'm so proud of me, and you should be proud of you. I love you all for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it wasn't too complicated. Leave a comment below. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Turn your notification on. It sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. And stay tuned. Mwah.